Hi, this is David Johnston, and I just wanted to discuss this really cool um, app that I made. It's kind of ironic because I made a Bing search app with Google's App Inventor. <laughs> I'm not a programmer or anything. I'm, I have a, come from a marketing and an SEO background, but I'm really excited about Google App Inventor. I mean, I'm pretty good with Excel, so I know Excel formulas, which is the lot of a lot of the logic with the visual programming, the if, ands, and ors, and the nesting, and all that stuff. So that stuff was pretty cool, and, and it's kind of easy for me. So I made this app, and I hope you check it out. It's got some, you know, some cool features that I think are what search should have, meaning it's not too advanced. I mean, the Bing app is crazy awesome on my Droid X, but it's pretty complex, you know, and it's hard to use. There's no... It's not self-explanatory at all. I actually had a couple of people try to use it on my phone, and they didn't even know, like, how to get to the menu or that you can even scroll. And the text is kind of small, you know, on most of the search apps. So I made a single app that has um, the search functionality, same as Bing. Um, it pulls from Bing, so that's cool. And uh, there's a next and there's a previous button and you just kind of go through the results there's a couple different categories in it um, where you can you say you searched for budgets and you click on news well it will pull you the news feed for the word budgets or if you click on tech it'll pull you the latest tech information that has the word budgets in it kind of thing so it's pretty cool and the text is really big it's easy to use so I hope you check it out and uh, tell me what you think um, on another note, I want to, this brought up an idea, you know, I was following a tutorial on transferring XML, well basically the RSS, um, through app, Google App Engine, which is different, and translating that XML into JSON, which pipes it back down into um, the Android phone. So, what I want to do is create something that's the reverse of that. I want to create it different kinds of commercial apps where the person has their information stored on their phone like they fill out a little application on the phone it's um, a form it stays on the form or on the phone and then when they want to buy the service or buy the product or whatever um, they click to submit it then takes that data sends it out translates it into XML and then posts it to an XML service that gives a response either a yes or a no and if there's a yes it gives them a URL to click on um, where they're offering you know where they could actually view the offer or their contract or whatever it might be I think you know App Inventor is going to be huge for online commerce I mean the types of apps you can make are just endless especially like you know commercial apps where you're buying stuff or you're signing up for a service or that type of thing combine those type of features with um, cool stuff like search or you'll be able to find stuff using the zip code um, lookup and the location sensors and the barcode scanners I mean it just this is endless and it's awesome I'm really excited so if any of you out there um, have an idea for creating these kind of commercial apps um, especially if I can create the the app in App Inventor and post it out to a Google App Engine um, database somewhere and then have that process you know send the XML post and stuff like that and you know translate the responses back down to the phone that would be crazy awesome I'm putting together a little budget on the side um, so if anybody wants to help uh, just let me know and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day